So hey, what's going on everyone, Kid here, and today we're talking about Gilkinir Volume 4, another week, another volume down. So as always, I'm making the assumption that you are an anime watcher coming to read the manga along with me. Uh, I will not be talking about spoilers, so this is a first time or friendly review. Let me know what you think down in the comments section uh, about this week's volume. So, volume 4 takes us out of the frying pan and into the fire. It feels like there was so much going on in this volume that it was kind of hard to keep up if I'm being honest. But, a lot of this stuff fits together nicely, so I can't complain too much. There's a lot of action and lore, and of course, more old guys to see. There's the fusion dance that happens off of the cook in Griffin Volume 3. There's a phone call between Yoshioka and uh, Lena, which I'm not cool with. And meanwhile, Claire and Ikuichi's uh, jealousy problems are only getting worse. We also have some key differences this time between the manga and anime, but I'll talk about that later. So, let's pick up where volume 3 left off with Yoshioka and Shuichi being crushed into a um, pancake by Suguru. No, not that Suguru. Uh, this Suguru. Boy, this was not a pretty sight and I'm not gonna show that here. Uh, if you wanna see that, go read the chapter. Still, I don't think anyone was expecting the fusion. Even the second time around, it's kind of... I don't want to say out of left field, but it's still a shocker. And something else I didn't know. It's not called a fusion. It's called metamorphosis. That's the name of the chapter after all. So, I'm just going to guess that's the name of the actual fusion compatibility thing is called metamorphosis that's what we're sticking with elena said this is a special power that only shiichi can do and it's only activated when shiichi and his partner's goals align and they have a deep compatibility in this case both yoshioka and shiichi were killed for no reason so they wanted revenge for what suguru had done to them but uh, when Shuichi went to kill Elena, Yoshioka was like, no, this, you, you love her, you shouldn't do that. That being said, I can't, I can understand withholding the information because it's all new to you and you want to get your bearings. But going to Elena first and not talking to Shuichi about his own memories just doesn't sit right. It, it doesn't sit right with me. Uh, also, Claire and, uh, Iguichi doesn't, they both don't seem happy about the lie either, which is kind of understandable. Claire knows something is up. Iguichi is just annoying, so we won't talk about him. We also got some background on that one dude, uh, saying they sliced up, and I'll put that up, uh, in the car. Sorry, I'm going to like, speaking of Claire, I feel like we got a little more insight to her relationship with Shichi because if you notice she as soon as she thought Shichi was hurt she burst into tears and uh, I think that says something about her character now let's, let's let's do some backtracking because it felt like the conversation between Claire and Yoshioka really messed with Claire a bit that whole comment about them being two different people and never a like they would never be able to become whole I, I think it kind of screwed her up a bit she has it in her head that she she is useless without her and that's just not true while it is true that she she does like confidence in himself i think if he does get those lost memories back that lack of confidence might disappear and finally let's talk about uh, Madoka's group, who is, uh, looking really, Madoka himself is looking really different in the manga. Other than that, the story is more or less the same in the anime. The chase shots really emphasize how trash these guys are, and I'm really hoping to get 
through this arc as fast as I can. Seeing Yuta beat the crap out of this guy, uh, Moriota, Moriota, yeah, well, I don't care what the trash can's name is, this fight never gets old, and, um, this dude was really asking for that ass whooping, <laughs> so, uh, if you liked the video, leave a like, if you didn't, leave a dislike, get subscribed for more content, as always, every Monday, uh, if you're new here, check out the First Time Here playlist. Also, check out the Gilkner playlist down in the description. Uh, see you next week, everybody. Peace.